Hello everyone, my name is Idiotic Synergy and today we are going to talk about the Goliath Zerka. This wonderful model is probably one of the nicest looking Necromunda models. I just wish that in game it did something more because it is a wonderful mutated Goliath and I love this model. I, I think it's great. You can quite clearly tell that they've got the inspired from Batman though. Uh, it looks like one of the mutants in the Batman Arkham games. Yeah, it's it's such a cool model. I mean, it, it reminds me of it reminds me of the Titan mu mutants in the Batman Arkham games. But it's a very nice model. I like all the mechanical parts shoved inside him. Basically, this Goliath Zerker is on all the roids. Or, or he's been left out in the sun for too long and this is the end result because he's ginger. <laughs> This is what happens when you let gingers out in the sun for too long. They mutate. It starts off as sunburn, then they just mutate into this. Anyway, my apologies for that joke, Jesus. Anyway, uh, this model is very cool, and I and I can see why people like it. I mean, hell, I would, I would want to get this model and try and paint it up as like a centerpiece if I had a Goliath gang. However, like I said before, the rules don't really match up to what this guy can do. And it's just really odd because you wouldn't think that he'd be quite bad in game. I'm not saying he's the worst model ever, like in game. I'm just saying the rules aren't for him aren't great. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what I mean, but honestly, this model, I, I'm, I like the model. I like how the veins are all popping out. That's horrible. I also like how he's just taken a lot of drugs as well, you know, and he's quite a big model as well. Let's not forget how big he is, and that could be a problem. I'll explain what I mean, but seriously, this is one of the best models. <laughs> If I I kind of want to see someone run an entire gang of Goliath Zerkers just for the fun of it. Anyway, uh, let's get into the rules before I waffle on and on and on uh, forever, amen. And yeah, that's it really. Cool model. Now let's check out the rules. So this is the rules for the Goliath Zerker, and he's 210 credits, which you might think isn't that bad. He's a brute. Obviously, I mean, look at him. And I like the little description here where it's like basically uh, Goliaths have just become addicted to like combat stims and everything. They've just gone mu even more mutated and it's worrying the Adeptus Mechanicus. I like that. Basically, uh, they basically these Zerkers are, addic are addicted uh, to gene enhancement and vat grown muscle grafting. And it's terrifying. So yeah, they just abuse horrific ways to get even bigger. It's like steroids on steroids. Anyway, the rules for this um, for this model, they they are very underwhelming. It's 210 cr credits, but it just comes off as an even worse ogren. I mean, let's go over the positives first. Weapon skill 3 is quite good. Strength 6 is bloody brilliant. Uh, strength, uh, toughness 5, I'm surprised it's not toughness 6. Uh, because that's the same toughness as an Ogryn, and he's considerably bigger than an Ogryn. Uh, wounds 3, again, quite good. Attacks 3, that's really quite good. And he's armed with two uh, open fists, so that means he gets another attack because he has two melee weapons. And, yeah, uh, leadership 7, cool check 7, and willpower 8, intelligence 10. Now, that end bit, intelligence 10, don't worry about it. I don't think anyone's going to use him to open doors or whatever. However, the thing that lets this model down is the movement, movement 4. Meaning that he isn't going anywhere fast. Even if you move move him, the maximum amount of speed he is going is 8 inches. To put that in perspective, a Lobo Ogren only moves 4 inches. However, the Lobo Ogren is better 
even if it doesn't hit on freeze, I think the melee skill is it hits on falls. Anyway, the reason that the Lobo Ogren is better is because it cannot get pinned at all. This big guy, however, can get pinned. The Basically, what you've spent 210 credits on is a big target to take away from other gang members in your gang. <laughs> I didn't know how to word that, but... But it's, it's kind of a shame, because it's such a cool model. If it had a role where it couldn't get pinned, but loses one of its toughness or loses one of its strength... That would be that would be sort of interesting, where it just takes even more stims, but it hurts him over time. Uh, but he has got special rules: combat chem stash. Whenever this fighter is activated, it may choose to use combat chems until the end phase of this round. The fighter gains an additional D3 attacks, which sounds great. However, if you roll a one, you just get one attack. Yeah, it's... I don't think it's worth it. I mean, on one hand, you could get six attacks. Well, technically seven, because two weapons. Uh, his fists count as two weapons. So, you could get seven attacks, which is very good, especially with the mutated fists and bone spurs. Because the mutated fists and bone spurs is strength plus one, so strength seven... AP minus two, damage two. It's quite good, and having seven attacks that hit on freeze basically means that fight is going to be dead. However, it can get pinned, and as it has no ranged weapons, it's going to get pinned a lot. People are going to see the Zerker and just gun it down, and for 210 credits, you need something that can withstand punishment or to actually get in and kill a fighter without getting pinned. This is why Lobo's, uh, Lobo Ogrens are the best. Fight me. Granted, they can't do any objectives, but I, I love my Lobo Ogrens, goddammit. They're, they're just fun. Uh, especially if you give them the club, because the club gives the opponent a one uh, gives the opponent an armor save. So, it gives them plus one to the armor save with the club. However, if they fail, it's two damage. It's the most janky weapon, and I love it. And equipping it with Lobo Ogrins is just funny, because you can't pin them. They're an annoyance, and they're only 70 credits. They're the best. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, so, yeah, the Goliath Zerker. Uh, yes, you can give it furnace plates, but... Uh, I mean, how, hang on. Furnace plates are 10 credits for the Glyph Zerka. <laughs> My Ogrens get furnace plates for 5 credits. No, 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 no. And it's sorry, I'm being very childish. Also, if you wanted to take the mutated fists and bone spurs, it's 70 credits. It is 70 credits. So, that total, if you wanted to take everything, that's an additional 100 credits, taking this up to 310 credits. It's not worth it. Really cool model, It's but it's not worth it. It really isn't. If you want to use the Goliath Zerker, cool, but just beware that it is going to get murdered instantly. Unless you're playing, I don't know... Unless you're playing Ogrins or Corpse Grinder Cult, because it's going to be quite... I'm trying to think of a gang that this that the Goliath Zerko could win against. Oh, I know, Enforcers. Yeah, but then again, Enforcers have got some decent weapons, but shit everything else. So I think against Enforcers, you're laughing. Any other gang, though, you, it's going to be a tough one. Anyway, I've been Idiotic Synergy. Thank you for listening to me ramble about a model that probably no one cares about. And I'll see you next time. Remember, take care, stay safe, and look after each other. Bye for now.